guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. So for today's new video, I'm actually going to be de decluttering my makeup drawers. So in time for the new year, although it is the new year, I'm going to declutter my drawers and try and figure out what's going on in these drawers. Um, it was funny, I went to pick up some new ones the other day and Tom was like, you don't need new drawers. I was like, yes, I do. He was like, no, you don't. Um, how about decluttering the ones you've got and then you can see if you need new ones. Which, I won't lie, I don't want to do, but he has a point. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, obviously it's giving me great content. So if you do enjoy these video, videos and let me know. If you don't, then I apologise. Um, but I quite like watching these videos as well. I kind of get a bit like, a bit OCD when it comes to decluttering and tidying and stuff like that. Especially when I'm in the mood. Oh, what's going on with this brow? Especially when I'm in the mood to do, the, do so. So yeah, let's get to decluttering my drawers. And then we can see if I need to buy new drawers for more makeup. But his point being, I don't need any more makeup and I shouldn't have new drawers at the same time. Which, let's, what's it called? Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this video. If you wanna help me declutter my drawers for 2020, then please just keep on watching. I thought I'd do this in a more vlog style because it's quite like casual and it's quite like chill and this is a really awkward angle. Yeah, yeah, it's quite chill, relaxed sort of video. Um, I have my big bag of beauty right here. That can't be asked to lift up. That um, you may have seen in, oh, I'm so cold. Sorry, that's why I'm in my dressing room by the way, because I'm freaking freezing. Anyway, you may have seen in my recent video, I'll link it here, that I, was insanely spoiled this year and I got some great beauty gifts. So in order to put these away, I need to sort out the situation. Don't have the most, like it's not the most room in the world, but there's these drawers are deep. Like let me just show you. Excuse the mess here. But obviously I've got I've got two sets of Alex drawers. Um they're quite deep as you can see. You can get a lot in these drawers and since sort of putting this here, I've not really gone through them. So I'm going to so I'm going to do that with you today, try and show you what I can in these drawers and yeah, get to decluttering, taking out what I don't do and don't need and sort of probably I don't want to chuck anything away. I hate throwing things away. Um I'll try and donate it if, donate it if I can. If it's old, then I will throw it away because nobody wants to be using that. But if I haven't even touched it or whatever the case may be, I will try and do what I can with it in the best possible way. Um, yeah, so let's get decluttering these drawers. So let's just go through these. First of all, I kind of wish I had little like tags and that'd be cute. Skincare. Recently got rid of what well, I managed to combine these two drawers the other day so I could get more skincare in. So that will be skincare. This is sort of smellies and nail bits at the back which I don't usually need or will use that much, sorry. Tan drawer, which looks very friggin' excessive. And my hair drawer. Okay, this side we have got primers and uh, primers, setting sprays. I need some of these dividers because this looks messy as fuck. Dividers, eyelash glue, eyelashes, cream products, uh, cream palettes, foundations, concealers, cream contour. This is. Oh, why is that? The one thing with these drawers that freaks me out is that if anything gets stuck, you can't take the drawer out or it's hard to get in to take them out because they're quite, they go far, they're quite, they go quite far back, as you can see. So, sorry, yeah, powder products, um, highlighters, bronzers, concealers, sorry, what? Concealer is not a powder product. Bronzer, highlighter, setting powder, etc, etc. This is a mess, like, and more so, I want more drawers so that I can separate this, this. So I've got, I try to keep this tidy. Brows, eyeliner, and mascara, I think. And then the back is all lip products. And this is all eyeshadow palettes. Now, I hate the fact that my brow products and lip products are all in the same drawer. Like, I really, really wish I could separate them, which is also why I wanted new drawers. By the way, Thomas, there was a reason for it. <laughs> um, but let me, I should probably just sort through it first. I just don't want to. 
You know when you just look at a mess and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to do it. I just want to leave it like that. That's me. I've let it get too bad now that I don't want to sort it out. You all know what I mean. <laughs> so let's go through my primer drawer. I'm going to leave sort of my camera set up like this and I will show you bits as I go through. I'm also probably that lazy person that puts empties back in their drawer, which please don't come for me, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but let's do this. <sighs> so long. Why have I even started this? Regretting my life choices right now. Okay. Let's do this. So we've got some setting sprays here, which are almost empty to be honest. I probably should get a bin. Um, eyelashes, I've got a couple of little eyelash compact sort of cases in which I keep my eyelashes in. I like to keep them in the ones that they come in. And I picked this up super cheap in Primark once, I should probably get some more. But it's like a little eyelash case. Quite handy actually. Okay, so these empty ones, I'm just gonna chuck some eyelash glue in there so we should keep her. Why not? Why not? Why not? Plastic, by the way, I will recycle. I recycle all my plastic, so please don't come for me. I'm good with that. Cut plastic, cardboard, um, paper. I really do make a conscious effort to um, recycle, so just putting that out there. Got a shade swapper thing in my jig. Quite handy, to be fair. So, eyelashes, individual eyelashes, quite handy to have. Also these eyelash brushes, so handy. Like I got these maybe even a year ago, but they're still handy to have because you can use them for anything. Like I've used them for my eyebrow dye, my eyelash dyes, all that sort of thing. So that's really helpful. This is super cute. I kept this because it's like one of my first PR packages um, from We Love from We Love Lash at False Eyelashes.co.uk. So I keep that because I'm cute with that. Um, a couple of little cards and stuff which I don't necessarily need. It's going to take me a while to go through this, so I'm going to quickly speed through, check off things. See, brand new, I've not even used it. It's probably, it's because it's in the wrong drawer. This shouldn't be in here. This should be my bathroom where I wash my brushes. Right, I'm going to quickly speed through things. I'll show you some stuff that I'm keeping and not keeping. And we'll get to sorting, because that's going to take me fucking ages. This, oh my god, NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. If you've tried it, you know. You know that it's so good. Which is why it's got the tiniest little bit left and I don't want to get rid of it because I love it so much. Um, we all know that this is a love of mine. We know that this is a love of mine. Can't see it. MUA Pro Base Blur Stick. Absolutely so good. I want to try their other ones. They've got like water. It's the blue one it looks like water. Oh my god. I need it in my life. So I've got eyelashes here, more primers, a whole tub of eyelash glues and stuff. And these cute little tubs. Oh my god, I got this from, you know, the goo cheesecakes. Wash it out, keep the glass. Not just a hat rack, my friend. Um, sellotape? Why have I got sellotape in here? This is like, isn't that like bandage tape? You know, like, I don't know. I don't want that, you have been in here for a friggin' hot minute. Don't know why I still have you. This is so handy. Anybody else have one of these? Because you can sort of, it's like a mixer. You can put your foundations on here, mix whatever. Great little apparatus. I never use it, I won't lie. I always use it back on my hand, but it's, she's still a good idea.
Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I'm working with here. I'm going to try and, because I don't have the sort of dividers, I'm going to try and keep everything row by row. If I sort of shut it and open it again, nothing really moves around that much apart from the setting sprays. I've got my packs of eyelashes, I'm trying to keep it all in place, primers, lip products in the middle here, random, but that's where they fit. And yeah, this is my sort of primer drawer. And this is where it's about to get hard because this is all of my cream products. I can't really keep them in their own sort of se section. It's not going to stay like that. I'm also not going to be able to get rid of much stuff because I'm so bad at that. Boxes I'll be able to get rid of because I don't know why I even keep boxes. But I'm just bad at throwing things away, you know. I just like to keep everything. Um... I have this H&M All Day Liquid Foundation, which I used in my testing H&M video. I don't know if I liked it, but I've not picked it up since. Can't really remember. Maybe I'll give it another go. See, that's what I'm saying. I can't get rid of stuff. This was £2. I might put it in my sort of maybe pile. Not that I have a maybe pile yet. Some of it's empty as well, though. Pretty certain this foundation's empty. This is the P.S two and one foundation and concealer i really enjoyed this i know it looks gross please don't judge me um but i did really like this hence why i finished it two and one foundation and concealer matte finish long wear and full coverage this was good i did really like that foundation drops revolution oh my god i went for a phase of always using these like i don't reckon there's anything left in these either i loved these so much so we can go through what I actually liked and what I don't like of the past year or so throughout this drawer as well because I have never done one of those like best of best of the months or my favourite of the month or anything like that videos because I don't know I sort of I use a bit of everything or I use the same stuff every time every single day so then when it comes to doing my favourites it's going to be about five minutes because I've got like ten products to show you because they're all the same as I use every day but then I suppose they would be my favourites do you know what I mean oh my god this is a great foundation Oh, there's one there. The Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This was a favourite of many, many people's, I know. And, um, yeah, great foundation. I'm using this concealer at the moment. This is the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I don't think it's got the most coverage. Um, Defo see my bags. It's not got the best coverage, but I quite like it as an everyday foundation. It's not, like, super thick or too, too much that it's cake or anything like that. It's quite a nice foundation. Concealer, sorry. This is not good. This I don't like. Sleek corrector and concealer palette. I did it. Did I do a full face of sleek? I'm not sure, but I'm not a huge fan of this. I won't lie. I've only used it a couple of times, but it's quite oily. And the products are just really quite wet and oily. So I'm not a huge fan. The Conceal and Hydrate Foundation I tried in a recent video. I'm still trying it. I'm still trying to see how I feel with it. Um... I sort of mix it up with different concealers to see what it sits better with on my skin, different primers. I'm still going to use it, obviously. I've still used, got my, I'm still need to get my money's worth. It's still a good foundation. It's just, I said in the video, I don't think it lasted the longest and also kind of looked quite pory on me, if you know what I mean. Like, I could see my pores quite visibly. Um, I wasn't a huge fan. I prefer the concealer to fine. But I will still keep this. I will still test it out. This is a great contour stick. The chestnut, um concealer from Primark really really good for con contour rooms I have taken a sort of plastic sort of square out of one of my gift boxes this year. Cut out the middle obviously so I can get to the bottom of the drawer and put my concealers in here. I have one cream brush so she can sit in there. Cream, uh, sorry, concealers and then my foundations are all the way around the outside. Am I clever or is this just silly? I think clever. So yeah, I'm quite chuffed with my little makeshift 
box, I guess you could call it. As long as they stay like that, then I'm happy with this drawer. And she looks clean. Like, I'm kind of happy with myself right now. So, next drawer it is. Bronzers and highlighters. Or do you prefer, creams or powders, let me know. So I'm literally just gonna decant all of this out of the drawers into the onto the floor as I go deciding if I'm gonna throw any of it away. Probably won't. I probably won't. So I'm just gonna run through this quickly again. By the way, I'm watching In the Fro's shoe collection and I want to cry with happiness because shoes are like probably my favourite accessory. Probably my favourite accessory, and I just I'm in love with all of her shoes. So, palettes, so bronzer, highlighter palettes, whatever they may be, highlighters, bronzers, blushes, setting powders, and this is my not, I don't want, maybe, unsure pile. So really, there's not that much, like, I wouldn't like to say I've got, I don't have the most, do you know what I mean? I don't have loads. I mean, people might think this is excessive, but I like to collect my stuff and keep it. <laughs> so, apologies for that. So I need to try and, again, figure out a way well, I'm wearing a white jumper for starters. And secondly, um, I need to separate these, but I just don't know how. Again, may have to reuse, recycle, reduce some of the some of my Christmas box like packaging and stuff. I'm starting to get very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable down here. Did anybody have, else have the bourgeois powder duo uh, bronzer and highlighter? This brings back brings back memories let me tell you I was always trying to scrub my like giant bronzer brush in this little pan like just trying to get the bronzer and then just trying to get the the highlighter like I want to show you what I did want to say was I'm not a huge fan of these models own palettes I have a few I've got the cheat day highlighter palette the sculpt and glow palette I'm sure I had another one maybe not they're just really not that great they're not very pigmented this is a Sculpt and Glow. This looks very pretty. But as far as I'm aware, it just wasn't very... Really doesn't have much payoff at all, to be honest. So you're going in my giveaway pile. Although, like I'm saying, I don't want to give away stuff that I know that I don't like. So, but other people might. So obviously I can't say everybody, like, listen to me, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. This isn't too bad, this is the Cheek Glaze palette. I mean, it's okay, it has payoff. But for starters, there's a pink, a gold, and like a bronzy pink. If that's your colour, then that's cool. And they're quite subtle, so again, yeah, people may like these. I just, I don't know what to do with them. Can you take makeup to charity shops? I don't reckon so. Oh, I've just got cold again I don't reckon so so I'm really unsure what to do with these okay so I've tried to tidy the powder drawer which is what I was doing last time I saw you um I don't like it that much I need to close this door because otherwise you can hear the music ouch I'm not a fan of it at all I don't think it's very tidy um but we're gonna have to go with it I will show you what I've done so far so yeah, I put in here, initially this was just going to be bronzers and, sorry, blushes and highlighters, but I've got some um, powders in here because it's just not enough room. Obviously this drawer is quite deep as you can see, um, this little plasticky thing that I tried to make shift just was not, is not tall enough, it's just not good enough. So I'm going to have to invest in some separating situations, which I knew I was going to have to do anyway, but... This will do for now, I think. It's not too messy, like it doesn't go everywhere when I open the drawer, that sort of thing. So we've got palettes, bronzer palettes, um, bronzers back here, uh, setting powders. It looks messier than it was to begin with, so that's great. 
I also moved on to the lip drawer because my camera died, so I need to film that, uh, charge that for a little bit. So, eyeliners and mascaras. This is my current like brow. This this has all the brow products at the moment that I use. Um, I don't know why. I kept putting these little things. It's quite cute and like it was everything that I needed in one go. Um, brushes, pencils, that that sort of thing. So she sits quite nicely in between these two. Buckets. Ideally, I need to get these like some more of these buckets, which would probably go nicely in here. So yeah, I need to get down to Wilco really. This has more brow products in it that I don't really use at the moment. The Chanel powder that I used to use. Some other powders, some of these um stains and stuff, whatever that is. Lip what's it called? The eyebrow tint, there you go. That sort of thing. In the middle here, I've just got like gift sets, lipsticks. That sort of thing. This is my nudes, and these are reds, browns, purples. Well, this is probably reds and purples and that sort of different colours. This is nudes, browns, like nudes, basically. I don't like this either. I think I'd like to get one of the maybe the rotating lip sort of holders or the big tool like lip ones, but at the moment this is alright, this will do. I found a little pot little my morphe sort of brush holder so i thought i put my lip pencils in that and then sorry for all that mess and then in this version in the other half of the morphe pot i put some go-to lipsticks in here so then they'll be easier to find i guess uh then down to the bottom drawer which is just eyeshadow palettes which to be honest i can't really organize and i'm not going to try and put them in specific places if anything i've got revolution all at the back and some technic palettes i've got the bigger fat palettes in the middle Obviously, the Morphe ones are in the middle. These are Model Zone, Naked, um, Naked Palette, another round of Model Zone Palette, and the smaller palettes at the front. So, I, can't, I really like haven't organised this either, but I've kind of taken the ones out that I don't really want and that I don't use. Not like majorly sorted, but it is half. It's basically organised. I've got a spot, but just not as much as I want. I want one, of, I've got quite a few big palettes like the James and Morphe one, the, uh, what are you? Beauty Bay palette, the a Big Revolution palette. Like I want one of those, you know those divider things, what are they? They look like, um, oh, I've put that down. They look like the sort of, I don't know what they're called. They look like washing up tray racks do you know what i mean where you put your plates in when you clean your dishes that's what they look like and then you can sort of slide the palettes in you get me does anybody know what i'm on about probably not do i even know what i'm talking about just about um anyway this is stressing me out because even though i've organized these drawers i still have a whole friggin bag of stuff that i don't know if it's going to go in these drawers and at this rate i'd rather just leave it in the bag but that's not organizing at all and that means i've not really gotten anywhere at all somebody help me <laughs> what do i do oh my god what do i do anyway i don't know how long this bloody video is going to be so i'm going to have a look see if it's not too long and maybe continue doing this if not this will be for another day um <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed this video guys if you enjoyed the decluttering i haven't even done the other side yet and the other side is skincare it's basically just skincare and that doesn't really need decluttering. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. It was quite fun. It was quite chill. Like, I know this is casual when I'm sat on the floor. But it was quite a fun video to film, actually. I enjoyed going through everything. So I'm going to look back at the footage and see if it's hopefully not 2,000 hours long. But let me know what you thought about this video down below. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Um, I'm excited for 2020 and some more videos. Obviously, I'm just excited for this year, really. I'm going to really... I always say at the beginning of the years or at the end of the years or whenever I say it, I'm like, I want to make a conscious effort, I want to make more of an effort. I really enjoy doing this, I really enjoy YouTube videos, I really enjoy making videos, editing videos. I just need to get my ass in gear, basically. Stop messing around and do stuff properly. I mean, this is just my hobby, I have jobs, obviously, at the end of the day I have a job that pays my bills, but I enjoy doing this, this is my hobby. But you never know, I just enjoy doing this, I enjoy creating content, so if it's something that I could also do alongside other things, then I would not complain. I wouldn't be complaining, okay? Anyway, let's crack on. I'm gonna sort my life out. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Yeah, please give it a, a like, a subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz. See you next time.